So these are really special rocks. I mean, we're talking really special. All right. <laughs> In the whole world, there only are about 50 to 60 of these rocks known. Now, that makes it a million times rarer than diamonds. Mm -hmm. What are these rocks? These rocks are little pieces of Mars, <gasps> the planet. Wow. <laughs> That's more valuable than a diamond, you ask me. Much more valuable than a diamond. And you can hold them. Pieces of Mars. How do they find pieces of Mars? Well, first thing that has to happen is an asteroid has to hit Mars. Then the next thing that has to happen is rocks from the Martian surface have to be thrown into space because the asteroid hits it so hard. Then the rock in the atmosphere has to escape Mars's gravity, travel through space, and then it has to somehow randomly hit the Earth. But not just the Earth. It has to come through our atmosphere, mm -hmm. not burn up. Most rocks burn up when they come through the atmosphere, right? Because they're moving too fast and they burn up from the friction. Yeah, yeah, and then it has yeah. to land in Antarctica on the snow. And then people have to be walking around Antarctica and see a rock and go, well, there's no rocks on the snow, so it must have come from space. They got to pick it up, <laughs> then they got to take it back to a laboratory, and they got to put it under a special kind of machine called a spectroscope. And they've got to basically figure out the chemical signature of the rock. And they go, oh, this chemical signature is not an Earth. This is Mars. This is the same signature of the rocks that we can figure out through light are on Mars. And that's how this rock came. And then they got to decide to sell it. Yeah. Okay. And then they got to find somebody willing to buy it. Okay. <laughs> and then it's got to get here. So, oh, there you go. That's you really now have Mars rocks. <laughs> <laughs>